Um, dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you. We praise you. We give you all the glory, honor due to you. You're a great and powerful, mighty God. And there is none like you, oh, Father, Lord God. We thank you for all that is here. We ask you, Father, you know what I'm going to teach about. You know what I'm going to talk about. And just draw the people that you want to be here to learn, to understand and have a deeper understanding of, of who you are and your, and your love and your mercy and your, your, your greatness and your power, Father, Lord God. And we thank you, Father, for Jesus died on the cross for us. He purchased, he paid for, paid for us to, to be with you, Father. There is no greater gift than Jesus Christ. And we thank you for the blood of Jesus. The blood was poured out for the forgiveness of our sins and, and to make a way to be with you. And there's just no greater, greater gift. And we thank you, Father, for that. And we ask the Holy Spirit to be here. We ask the Holy Spirit to be here, Father, Son, Holy Spirit to be here. Guide us in this teaching. Give us revelation, wisdom, and understanding through this teaching and open our eyes of understanding. Open our eyes in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So um, as we go on serving Jesus Christ, um, and God is so wonderful because he'll tell you what he, you know, he wants you to do. We go by Jesus's teaching. We know that we're victorious in Christ Jesus. We know that greater is he that is in us. We know that we are we're overcomers. We know that we are only to be the head and not the tail. But we, but there is an adversary. There is an adversary. And that is Satan. And his goal is to really wear us out. Um, it really, I don't know of any other scriptures that really talk about how Satan, um, how, what he tries to do to destroy us. There's many things that he tries to do. He's always accusing us day and night before the father. Okay. And trying to, um, come against us. Um, you look at Peter when Jesus said, Peter, Satan asked to swift you. I mean, it's amazing. We go through a sifting Satan swift us. We know that we're the head of the tail. We know that greater is he that is in us. We know that we're in the father and the father is in us. And we know that we're in Jesus and Jesus is in us. And we're in Jesus and we're in the father. And we're only to succeed. And we're only to, um, we're, we're only to succeed. You know, we, there is no failure in Christ Jesus, but the enemy tries to deceive us. He tries to deceive us in our mind. He asks, he tries to accuse us so that he can come against us um and whatever that looks at looks like but we need to be aware of his tactics we need to be aware of um what he tries to do um in daniel 7 he talks about here but the saints of the most high but the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, ever, forever, and ever. The saints of the most high, that's us. That is us. That is us. We're the saints of the most high and we shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever and even forever and ever. I mean, that is such a great promise. That's exciting. Um, then I will know the truth of the fourth beast, which was the, um, diverse from all the others, exceeding dreadful, whose teeth wear were uh, of iron and whose nails of brass, which devoured break in pieces and stamped the residue with his feet and of ten horns. Now he's talking about this. There was a dream Nebuchadnezzar had. And so he's referring back to that. And of the ten horns that were in his head and of the other which came up and before whom three fell, even of the horn that had eyes and a mouth that spake very great things, whose look was more stout than his fellows. I beheld the same horn made war with the saints. Okay, here we go. And war with the saints. We are made in God's image. Satan doesn't like that. 
Satan, I don't, even if you're a Satanist, deep down, he wants to destroy you in the end. And he will. He may placate you for a period of time and give you what you want just to have your soul and just to destroy you. Anyways, I beheld the same horn made, made war with the saints and prevailed against them until the ancient days came. Until the ancient of days came and judgment was given to the saints. Hello. The judgment was given to the saints of the most high. And the time came that the saints and the ten horns out of the kingdom are ten kingdoms that shall arise and another shall rise after them. And he shall be diverse from the first and he shall subdue the three kings. And he shall speak great words against most high. So you see this war going on. You know, we, we, we are the saints. And we will, and I'm going to go back to recap this, but the saints of the most shall take the kingdom and shall possess the kingdom forever and even forever and ever. We're to take possession of that. Okay. But Satan isn't going to go without a fight, you know? And so when we get to verse 10 or 25 here, and he shall speak great words against the most high, because that's what he does. That's one of his tactics, accusations. And and he shall wear out the saints of the most high and he shall wear out the saints of the most high. Okay. And think to change times and laws. Okay. He shall think to change times and laws and they shall given into his hand until a time and a time and the dividing of time. So I want to go back here and pick this out a little bit. I should wear out the saints. That's his goal, just to wear them out, wear them out, wear them out. And think about that. Has anybody ever felt worn out? Worn out. That's one part. And the other part is to think to change times and laws. Okay, times and laws. Remember, the Moedim is the feasts, right? He God put his time, which is circular, his periods of times is actually circular and we follow the calendar and we follow the calendar um, of the feasts and the, the 12 tribes of Israel and the Jewish calendar to understand what's going on. And we're right now we're in the month of Elul. And I just want to touch upon this because Elul, um, you will have supernatural encounters with God and Holly's on here. So Holly, what was your supernatural encounter with God this month? Um, well, I know I mentioned earlier this morning that in prayer on Wednesday, the 9 to 11 prayer, yes. um, he just kind of, he showed me that he sees us as his, as his white stones. Is that not cool? Yeah. Um, and, and then tell him that you heard it again. Well, yeah. When I was praising um, this morning, he, um, he just kind of confirmed it again with me because, you know, I, sometimes the messages, we don't get the messages until late. You know, I was asking right. early this week, I didn't get it until last night. And um, so I really didn't do a, a presentation. I just did it over the phone. But, um, and then I was just kind of like skeptical. I'm like, is this it? And he just kind of confirmed. He's like, yes, I wanted you to share this. <laughs> nice. Yes, he's faithful. He really is. He's faithful. Well, so amen. And then with mine, I had a supernatural encounter um, in a dream where Paulette in my dream sometimes will show up as the Holy Spirit. And um, she said to me, she goes, that's not the the vision of an evangelist. And she said it twice. And then either she blew on me or touched my head. And then all of a sudden I fell back and I felt the Holy Spirit just engulf me. And um, so there was deliverance that took place. And then after that, I've not had any of these wicked, crazy dreams I've had going on for months and months. So I just knew that I was just delivered of my, this vision back intact with, with the Holy Spirit, with God. So that was like a really good um, supernatural encounter with God. 
I don't know if anybody else want to, wants to share anything for the month of Elul that, that they've had supernatural encounters. Anybody else? Yes. Uh, I, I, I received several encounters also. Mm -hmm. I've been praying uh, long term prayer since uh, Brother Christian left. I want to know the will of God, what he want me to really do, because I didn't want to take up on flesh. And the Lord uh, give me physically somebody who, who give me the answer of uh, my prayer. I, especially it was even uh, last Saturday night that I was pondering and Right in the morning, the person called Reverend Paulette and gave some confirmation. Wow. And and also a um, couple of days ago, I don't know whether it's Thursday or Wednesday, I, I saw another dream. That one was concerning my... Uh, my, 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 my ministry. The one, um, like a woman appeared to me in the dream, mm -hmm. and, and she was keep pounding. I, uh, you have a ministry in this area. You have a ministry in this area, and she was talking about the area where we have Goshen. Wow. Uh, that we have Goshen uh, in the northern Cameroon, and. I'm talking about Northern Cameroon. I'm talking about Northern Cameroon. And in the dream, Reverend Paulette was there too. And she said, I told you. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> she was just saying, I told you. Amen. I told you. So God that was, that was the, the, so those are the, maybe there are so many that I don't remember, but those are yeah. the ones that came to my mind. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, this is the month of, that we'll be having, and it's going to end in, a, what, a week a week or two, um, the month of Lul. And so I think I had another encounter two nights ago, but I don't want to share it quite yet because I want to see if God will confirm it. But amen. Um, so the, so now we know that this, this um, that this, you know, this is where we're at. We understand the time. We understand the seasons. We're headed into the fall feasts. And this is five, seven, eight, five we're going into, which is very interesting because you have two fives, which really represents grace. Um, and then five, seven, and eight. Seven and eight are together. You have a seven, seven um, completion and eight of new beginning. So last year, well, last year uh five seven eight four was of the new doors you know to walking through the new going into our new season and a new door and you know we've we've done that um also just to let people know um that when we go into five seven eight five that there may be a lot of turmoil because that's what satan satan's angry right now um i know that i was listening to kurt landry and he says that we'll be getting for five, seven, eight, five, that will be coming into the more royal priesthood, the royal priesthood and um, the bride of Christ, um, priest and the kingship. And that will be coming in more of a kingship era. So that's interesting. If you want to watch his video, I put it on, on the on line there and posted it. I was a little bit deeper and I didn't want to get too much into this because I think the thing is, is to really understand uh, that we, the whole goal of Satan is to, you know, he comes to still kill and destroy, but Jesus came to give life in that more abundantly as we know. Um, so he, he's, his, he is trying, he, okay. He shall wear out the saints of the most high and think to change times and laws and what do you think he's doing now with these laws? You know, um, it used to be abortion was illegal. Now it's not. It's, you know, all of a sudden it used to be illegal for men to marry men and, and whatnot. But now it's not. And and all these different laws that were righteous laws have um, he has changed. So he's done a damage. Um, 
anyways, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and a time and the dividing of times. There's a period of time here. Um, 26, but the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it unto the end. Okay. Um, 27, the kingdom of the dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high. Again, it is given to us in the kingdom of the dominion, the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high whose dominion is an everlasting kingdom and all dominion shall serve and obey him. Now, this is what I find interesting because I talk to, I do talk to a lot of religious people when I say, you know, God really gave us authority. Um, and I share scriptures and it's amazing what they come up with, but God has given us the authority and this is our time to take and try to do whatever we can to set things straight, you know? And, um, and, and to do God's will, basically. But anyways, and hither into the end of the matter, as for me, my um, cognitions must much trouble and troubled me and my countenance changed um, I can't in me, but I know that matter in my heart. Okay. So anyways, Again, Satan is always crouching at we, our door. That's what he does. Um, the Lord said to Cain, why are you angry? What is your face? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, you will not be accepted. But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. Its desire is to have you, but you must rule over it. So we, we are children of God. We are to rule over our sin, repent rule over it and whatnot. And I tell you, we all know the stronghold is in the mind. A lot of this is mind. I know um, where I was going through a lot of pain, it was hard. Um, uh, for some reason, I had a lot of weird, strange reactions back in June um, when um, they're trying to do a biopsy on me. And um, I'd never been in so much pain in my life. And that was the biopsy. That was the hysterectomy was a lot easier than just the biopsy part. But anyways, nonetheless, I digress. I've never had so much pain and wearing out in my life. I couldn't sleep. I was hit with insomnia. I mean, really, Satan was really <laughs> just trying to attack me. But God, with God, you overcome. You just keep pursuing and, and attacks in the dreams and whatever. It was crazy. And, um, but you just keep going after it, pursuing and um, because we are overcomers, we only succeed. Um, Isaiah 5, 1, therefore, my people go into exile for lack of knowledge there. They honor me, the honored, their honored men go hungry and their multitude is perished with thirst. Okay, so again, we see people not really, it, it's to me, they're not understanding the word of God. They may not be grounded in the word of God. They don't, don't understand who God is. They're not standing on his promises. They're standing on their emotions. They're standing on their flesh. It was interesting that um, Pauline said, I did not want to be fleshy. So that she, you know, was praying about it, seeking God's face. And um, she had, a dream and the dream was confirmed and all this stuff, but not to get into our flesh. It's so easy though. When you're in a lot of pain, it's so easy to give into the flesh. It was stand strong, stay in faith. Um, Hosea for six, we all know my people perish for lack of knowledge, a perishing, a destructive death, perishing. Now uh, it's funny. I, um, I don't know why I felt compelled to give up these, to look into these scriptures because my people perish for lack of knowledge. I, I'm in I at this point, I've been doing ICU. I've been a nurse in ICU for a long time um, and still am at this point. And um, what I find interesting is, is, and this is just me and my perspective, um, when people pass away and die. And I'll never forget a coworker because there was a time where I was really praying over people and, you know, people be healed and this and that. 
and a coworker had a best friend that was dying of cancer. And she was, she went, she was a Christian. She assembled the, the patient or the um, friend who had cancer was from assemblies of God, I believe. So I said, yeah, I'd be more than happy. I reached out to her and I felt like I can feel when I pray for somebody, if there's a blockage and if there's a blockage, I, I stop praying because I'm like, I'm not going to fight against somebody blocking me and I feel it and I sense it. And I couldn't understand why I was, and she knew the scriptures and she's like, yeah, I've been praying these scriptures, you know? And, um, and I was praying for her and I was just like, just pouring it all out. And I'm, I'm blocked. I feel a block. I feel a block. And I'm like, I'm not understanding why this is not penetrating. Like I could feel it's interesting when I pray for people, I could feel if the word of word of God gets planted into their, their heart or their soul. It's a, there's, there's, it's just like my whole body will react. It'll just like this tingling throughout my whole body. And I just know it hit. Um, sometimes if it just goes to the legs, I feel like there's a resistiveness in them that not allowing it. That's just me. That's what I just feel sense and understand. Anyways, um, I just sensed it. And as much as I prayed over her and I called her probably three or four times, you know, back and forth, we'd pray. And there was just a resistiveness. Now, I didn't understand this until... I was going through my health stuff after the biopsy and I'm in massive pain. I, I have a lot of health. I had, they've been, I really believe I've been healed by a lot. Um, and I had a, what was called ly lichen sclerosa just flaring up and all these different autoimmune issues just flaring up all over. I was in so much pain anyways. And I'm not now God is, God is so faithful. Anyways, I never felt like, I just want to die and I've had enough of fighting uh, that I really, and, and, and I was even better after the, the hysterectomy. You'd think I'd have more of a, uh, with that. Um, but I was just in so much pain and I had enough and I couldn't sleep and I was having nightmares and I never felt like I just want to give up and I'm just too tired of fighting. And I never, that was the first time I really felt like, Satan was trying to wear me out. Satan was trying to wear me out. And I said, God, if you want to take me, just take me. Cause I had, I really feel like I've had enough. And, um, he didn't. And, um, and I prevailed and I overcome because that's what we do. But anyways, I, I say this because there is a part of us that we do have to, um, come in agreement with, with our spirit being released. And I look at Jesus on the cross with this part. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, father into thy hands, I commit my spirit. And having said this, he gave up, he gave up the ghost. He gave up the ghost. He gave it up. Okay. And, um, J uh, John nine 30, when Jesus had received the sour wine and he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and he gave up his spirit. He gave up his spirit. Um, Acts 12, 23. And immediately the angel of the Lord smote Herod because he gave not God the glory and he was eaten of worms and he, he, and gave up the ghost. That was another one. Genesis two. 25, eight, the Abraham gave up the ghost, gave up the ghost and died in a good old age. <clears throat> and then Matthew 24, 11 to 12, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because of iniquity, there abound the love of many shall wax cold. Okay, I guess I should have went in, but I wanted to make a point here that really Satan's goal is to wear us out and come in agreement with death to give up the ghost, to give up the spirit. And I think that's important to make mention of and to be aware of. And if you've been around death and watch somebody die, you can almost see them just saying, I, I'm done. I've had enough. Um, and I wanted to add to that. I wanted to add to that. Okay. So, and many false prophets shall arise. Okay. We're talking about being Satan trying to just, you know, still kill and destroy 
and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. The love of many shall wax cold. I wish I should have done it a deeper dive, you know, because I think in some of the other Luke or, or John or Mark, it talks about um, the faith, faith, um, many, many faith will grow cold. So um, to keep that also in, in mind that, that they also um, start losing faith, hope. And that's what Satan does. And these are his tactics. Now, I started looking at uh, this. God uh, threw me down to revelations because I think it's important. There were seven churches that God spoke of. And um, Holly was actually touching upon the, the churches this morning in her teaching. I thought that was really interesting because, um, you know, wh how does Satan work, you know, against the churches is, is important to um look at um to revelations 2 to the angel of the church of ephesus writes these are the words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks among the seven golden lampstands i know your deeds your hard work and your perseverance now look at that this church looks good i know your deeds and your hard work and your perseverance and i know I know uh, you cannot tolerate wicked people and you have tested those who claim to be apostles but are not and had found them false. You have persevered and have endured hardship, have endured hardship, hardship. And I, uh, there's other translations that said, um, and you've not grown weary, but you have endured hardship for my name's sake oh here it is for my name and have not grown weary have not grown weary and so i really wanted to add on that that here he, he condemns these people or not condemns he um condones them for not growing weary and i think that um is important because you know darn well that that's why um satan um um, tries to wear wear us out. That's his goal: wearing us out, changing the laws, changing the times, changing the seasons. Okay, um, I'm looking through my Bible because I did not go um, into it all. Nevertheless, it's interesting how he had seven churches, and I think only one really overcame. Um, nevertheless, I have some somewhat against thee because thou has left thy first love thy have left us so even though they're doing all these great deeds and they're not even growing weary and they're moving forward um they have left their heart they left their first love you know so one thing is we got to get our hearts back right um remember therefore so to get your heart right remember therefore from whence thou art fallen and repent and do the first works or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlesticks out of the, out of his place, except thou repent. So that was one church. And I, um, I'm just briefly gonna, I didn't put this in there because I didn't want to spend too much in revelations about the seven church, because I wanted to spend some time in prayer, um, about overcoming. So I'm just going to read and highlight the next church. Um, but this thou has that thou hates the deeds of the Nickelodeons. Um, I mispronounce that, which I also hate. And he has an ear. Let him hear what the spirit hat says unto the church churches to him that overcomes. Will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise and unto the angel of the church of Smyrna writes these things said the first and the last, which was dead is alive. I know thy works and tribulations and poverty, 
but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but they are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. So here you see Satan actually is being allowed to take some of the people this in um, from the church of Seminaria into prison that they will be tested. And um, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee the crown of life. So um, here you have that these these people are really relying on their, um, but thou art rich, you know, um, and whatnot. So he goes on, because I want to kind of sum this up. He does go on to the other churches and first, what's interesting, I always find interesting when you really study out the seven churches, that he usually lists seven good things that the church has done. And then he he says, but this I have against you. Um, and it, it, I'm not going to go into this. And I think when he gets down to Philadelphia, I think it's Philadelphia is the only church that really shined amongst the other churches if i remember correctly um so i really wanted to touch upon that because what i wanted to do also revelations 315 um i know your deeds that you're neither cold nor hot this is something that i always um want to touch upon um because the cold and the hot god always wants us hot I wish you were either one or the other, because when you're cold, it's, it's, you know, you, <laughs> when you're cold, it's easier to all of a sudden be hot in your, in your heart, you know, cause you realize how far you are, but that lukewarmness, that lukewarmness, um, is hard because it's somebody whose heart is just not gung ho for God and just, yeah, I read my Bible or yeah, I know that. And yeah, I am a Christian, but they're not really doing much. Um, but God wants us hot. So we got to be, you know, so because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I'm to spit you out of your mouth. To me, I always found the scripture very harsh. So, but yet it's to keep us in perspective of, you know, how Satan just tries to keep us a little lukewarm. Um, that's another, uh, tactic. Anyways, the reason why I wanted to, um, the reason why I wanted, I just briefly go into the touch upon the churches of, um, revelation is because I really, one book I do love is Reverend Babiola's book um confessional prayers confessional prayers and so i looked into this and i think it would be good um if we pray through uh it's we're going to start with chapter two three and four we're going to pray through these i don't know if anybody can see see this can you guys see this okay yes okay thank you Holly, do you mind praying through chapter two? Do you feel okay about that? I can easily do it if you if you want me to. I can do that. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you, God, for your goodness and your love and your mercy. We thank you. We serve you wholeheartedly, Father. Father, forgive us wherever we fall short. Father, Lord God, forgive us by the blood of Jesus. We are forgiven. Father, help our hearts to be strong in the Lord and the Lord's mighty power in the name of Jesus, Father, Lord God. I thank you for this book, for Reverend Babiola, um, this book, Confessional Prayer, Father, which we were going to pray through in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father, that you will work a mighty work in our hearts as we go through these prayers in the name of Jesus. The Lord Jesus Christ holds us in his right hand and walks among our family, church, and workplace. We have good deeds. We are hardworking for God and we, we persevere. We cannot tolerate wicked men 
um, we test, identify, expose false go- gospels, minister ministries by the spirit of God, not by might, not by power, but by his spirit in the name of Jesus. We persevere and endure hardship for um, Jesus Christ's name. And we grow not weary. We grow not weary. We grow not weary in the name of Jesus. Our Lord Jesus Christ has nothing against us. We have only one love, evergreen first love that is never forsaken. Our work for God never distracts us from the God we serve. Our hands are never too busy, nor our calendars ever too crowded, nor our head ever too full to bow the knee in fellowship with our maker in the name of Jesus. Our heart is full of our number one priority, the love of God. We experience an ever increasing height in Christ from which we will never fall. We maintain the the loving things we did at first. We maintain the loving things we did at first. We maintain the loving things we did at first. We have this in in our favor. We hate practicing of the Nicolaitans, which Christ also Christ also hates. We have ears for the saying of the spirit to the church. We will overcome and the Lord Jesus Christ will forgive us the right to eat from the tree of life, which is the paradise of God. The words of him who is the first and the last who, who died and came to life again, come to us. He knows our afflictions. We are poverty, yet we are rich. He knows the slander of false Jews and false Christians. We are not afraid of what we may suffer. We may be tested and suffered and persecuted. We remain faithful to the highest points and he will give us the crown of life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We receive it. We receive it. And we... And we are attentive to the Holy Spirit. We are not be hurt at all by the second death because we shall overcome. Thank you, Jesus. We shall overcome. The word of him who has the sharp double-edged sword come to us. We are consistent in our loyalty and obedience to Christ, even if we live where Satan has his throne, we remain true to his name, which is Jesus Christ. We remain true to his name and we don't renounce our faith in Christ Jesus. We are a faithful witness, even to the Satan's face. We don't hold to the teachings of Balaam who taught Balak to entice Israelites to sin by eating food, sacrificed to idols and by committing sexual immorality. Neither do I have anything to do with these teaching of Nicolaitans. Therefore, I am not living in sin. Therefore, the Lord fights for us with the sword of his mouth. We are loyal to the voice of the Holy Spirit. We will overcome and Christ will give us some of the hidden manna. He will also give us a white stone, a white stone. That's what um, Holly taught on this morning, the white stone. And he will give us a white stone with a new name, a new name written on it, known only to us, the recipients, the word of the son of God, whose eyes are like blazing fire, whose feet are like burnished bronze come to us. Thank you, Jesus. We have ever increased good deeds. Um, We have love and faith. We serve and persevere. The Lord Jesus Christ knows us and all about us. He understands our situation. He affirms us. uh, He affirms our good qualities and warms our heart red hot. We are hot for Jesus. He warms our heart, heart red hot. And he corrects us in love and great compassion. Surely we are intolerant of the 
that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess by her teachings, um, she cannot mislead us into into sexual immorality, the eating of food sac sacrificed to idols. We will not receive the treatment of Jezebel, the immorality merchants who was willing to repent. We will not be cast on a bed of suffering by God or shared in the ignominy pains and judgment of idolatry. We know the Lord Jesus Christ is he, he, um, he who searches hearts and minds and will repay us according to our deeds. We neither hold to her teachings nor learn Satan's so-called deep secrets. We only we only hold on to what we have until Jesus Christ comes. We overcome and do his will to the end and he will give us authority over the nations. He will give us authority over the nations. He will give us authority over the nations and we rule with and we will rule them with an iron scepter and we will dash them to pieces like a potter just as he has received authority from his fathers from his father and we will also give us the morning star he will also give us the morning star and our loyalty to the voice of the spirit in Jesus' mighty mighty name amen and i want to add something and and say and he will also give a give the morning star and if you really look, it's interesting because there's two places it talks about morning star, that Jesus is the morning star. And then, um, I don't know if it's Jeremiah. Oh, where does it? Isaiah, Ezekiel. I think it might be Ezekiel where they, uh, it calls Jesus um, a type morning star, which is interesting because he, um, when he was with God, he would, he was the worshiper. He led the worship service. And um, there's a deeper dig to that. But but he will also give give us the morning star. And think about that, that we that will be our job to to uh, do the worship in heaven. So I think I think that's very fascinating. So he will all, also give us the morning star. And you could look that up if you want to look into Revelation 28, 29 and start studying out the morning star. It's, it's a good study. Um, but we thank you, Father. And I covered this part of the prayer. Of, we, this was um, Revelations 2 that I prayed for. And I cover that in the blood of Jesus, hedge of protection, wall of fire. In Jesus' name, amen. I don't know if anybody feels led to pray through trap chapter 3. Anybody want to give it a try? I can continue on. No biggie. Okay. I can okay. I can do it. Okay, amen. And then it's where it says I we, I replace it with we. So it's hard sometimes it's hard to keep up but that's okay. Do your best. <laughs> okay. The words of him who hold me uh, us. and us <laughs> amen. holds holds my faith come to me, come uh, to us. Amen. He knows our deeds. We are alive to to my God. To our Art. God and responsibilities as a belief as believers, our good responsibilities as a believer, my good our good reputation matches my our dis disposition. Mm -hmm. We are awake. We are strengthened in God. Our deeds are complete in the sight of our God. We wake, we walk in the light of the world of the world, the word of God, sorry, and mm -hmm. the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, um, we have not and will not. Oh, wait a minute. I miss will you. Not, uh, it will not soil our clothes. We will walk with my our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ is coming soon. I hold on to what I have and no and and what we have. And no Oh, one... I'm sorry. Uh, go to the other part of the Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I'm going to move up this, but yeah. Yeah, cuz I was like, where did it go? Okay. Yeah. 
let's go back. We will walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. And then dress. dressed in white for we oh. are worthy by his grace. We will overcome and be Thank dressed you. Thank you, in white. We will, he will never blot out our name. Amen. From, the, from wait a minute, from the book of life, but will acknowledge my our name before Amen. his Thank father you, and his angels. We are attentive to what the spirit says the churches says to the churches, Amen. the word of him Amen. who is holy and true who holds the key of David, come to us. He opens for me or we. No one can shut. And what he shuts for me, no one can open. Amen. Or no, 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 or what he shuts for us, no Amen. one can open. Yes, Lord, in the name mm. of Jesus. Mm. He Amen. knows our, our deeds. He sees he has placed before us an open door that Amen. no one can shut. I have the strength of the Lord Jesus Christ. We keep his word and will never deny his name. Mm -hmm. Liars mm, and practitioners of false religions fall you, at our feet and acknowledge that he the Lord loves us. Amen. I keep the command. We keep the command of the Lord Jesus Christ to endure patiently. Therefore, he also keeps us from the hour of trial. Christ is coming soon. I hold on to what we have and no one will take our crown or his crown, Amen. I should say. Amen. I will I will be, we will be made a pillar in the temple of his God because we will overcome. Amen. Never you. again will we leave it. He will write on our, write our name <clears throat> of his God and the name of the city of his God, the new Jerusalem, which is coming down out of the heaven from his God, and he will also write our names, our new, our, write on our, his new name, right? Thank you, Jesus. I listen to the Spirit says to, we listen to the Spirit, to what the Spirit says to the churches, the words of the amen, the faithful, true witness, the ruler of God's creation comes to us. He knows our deeds and that we hold, we, I will never, we will never be lukewarm. He knows our deeds and that we hold hot. We are hot. I, we are hot. We are hot. Okay. <laughs> and we will never be lukewarm. Sorry. That's fine. So, That's good. So because we remain hot. He keeps us jealousy, jealously. We boast in Christ. I, we are rich in the Lord. The Lord meets all our needs and mm -hmm. we don't need a thing. He has made us admirable, insightful, and covered. We are rich in gold, refined in the fire from our, oh, Jesus Sorry, I'm sorry, our, I know. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Wait, 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 wait. He covers, okay, us in white clothes, and and we will never be naked. Amen. We see perfectly because our eyes enjoy the solve of Christ. He rebukes and dis disciplines us in love, so we are earnest and uh, amenable to His corrections. Our doors are ever open to the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> we are his property and he needs to be knocked to, he, he needs not to knock to enter our door. He lives in us 
and eats with us and we will and we with him we will overcome and sit with him on his on his throne just as, as he overcame and sat down with his father on his throne okay move it up oh, okay so four now we're up to four <laughs> okay. okay and the name of Jesus, thank you we cover this uh part the blood of jesus hedge protection wall fire we pray for no backlash retaliation for these prayers in jesus name thank you thank you and uh, do i have a taker for for five and, or four i'm sorry anybody want to pray through four Thank you, uh, Deirdre. Actually, thank you. Okay. Sure. Okay, great. Sure. Um, chapter four. The door of heaven stands open to me. I hear the door of heaven stands open to us. We hear the voice of God's invitation. We see what must take place in God's future program. In Jesus' name, we will see heaven while living on earth. We will have the revelation of the of the glory of God. The Lord will share secrets of heaven with us to make us an ever increasingly better worshiper of him in Jesus name. Mm -hmm. Our life and conduct never stop saying day and night. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God almighty who was and is and to come in Jesus name. We give glory, honor, and thanks to him who sits on the throne and who lives forever and ever in Jesus name. We fall before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. We lay our crowns before thy throne and say, you are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things and for your pleasure, they are and were created in Jesus' name. In name. Yeah, that was powerful. And I'll just, um, just do this one verse. Um, chapter five, we shall not weep because Jesus Christ, the line of the tribe of Judah, the root, uh, root of David he triumphs over uh, he triumphed for us he triumphed for us and he has opened the scroll and it is the seven seals and we thank you God we cover all these prayers that we just prayed in Jesus's name and we pray for no backlash or retaliation in Jesus name amen I'm going to stop recording if I did record I don't even know if I did I did I guess I did stop recording